good evening, good day. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jessica from Milesite Marketing Team. Today, we have an exciting lineup of topics related to Milesite's lower one gateways. So the contents of today will start with Milesite Academy, where you can expand your knowledge on our products and solutions. Next, we'll dive into Milesite connectivity, specifically exploring the UG series gateways, their shared values, and advanced features. Then, we'll move on to this G50 introduction, discussing its amazing, unique selling proposition. Following that, we'll explore Milesite services, which includes software and platform solutions. Lastly, we'll delve into some typical applications of SG50 Gateway, such as infrastructure management and smart precision irrigation. Get ready for an informative and engaging session covering a range of topics that highlight the capabilities and versatility of Milesite's LoRaWAN connectivity. So let's dive in. The purpose of Milesite Academy is to provide product-related information and knowledge helping everyone to gain a deeper understanding of IoT and MySite's products, and to engage in discussions about suitable application directions. Our academy offers a wide range of training programs and resources designed to enhance your knowledge and skills in utilizing our products effectively. Product training, solution training, hot solutions, and an immersive technical training. We encourage you to provide us with feedback on the topics you are most interested in. Later, you can leave comments or participate in post-webinar surveys to voice your preferences. Milesite is renowned for offering a wide range of stable and high-performance connectivity devices that are specifically designed for building robust LoRaWAN networks. You may wonder how to choose the most suitable LoRaWAN gateway. In the market, you can either find lower than $100 gateway or even more than thousands of dollars gateways according to the functionality. Milesite has identified that certain parts of customers in our segment, middle to high end, demand more cost-optimized gateways. With that in mind, the four standard LoRaWAN gateways all use Semtech SX1302 LoRa chips, which have optimized designs for performance and power consumption in addition. They can meet the different LoRa frequencies in different regions and areas. The Milesite UGY63. It is a mini gateway for LoRa technology and it offers deep coverage in difficult to reach areas, deep into the buildings, and super big warehouses. This is an interior only product, can't be used on the outside. With optional cellular 4G, the UG63 brings wireless communication, simplifying the network setup process. Moreover, the UG63 also supports Ethernet and Wi-Fi backhaul. The UG65 is our workforce gateway, has a built-in network server, and is configured with the NXP quad-core processor. The robust 8-channel gateway with IP65 enclosure is ideally suited to smart office, smart building, and semi-industrial scenarios. The UG67 is a rugged outdoor gateway with a powerful quad-core CPU. With its waterproof IP67 housing, this gateway is ideally suited for smart agriculture, smart metering, smart industry, smart city, and any outdoor projects. And the last unit, UG56. It is designed to be applied to industrial indoor environments. From the structure, it is a mini-sized device with an extensible external magnetic LoRa antenna. So you can put it into any limited spaces or boxes and keep the signal coverage through the extensible antennas. The signal coverage can be wide to six floors up and down. You also have the option of a fiberglass antenna instead if you need a stronger signal gain for outdoor coverage. Milesite LoRaWAN gateways offer a set of shared values that make them exceptional solutions for IoT applications. They are equipped with the high quality CS1302 LoRa chip ensuring efficient handling of higher traffic volumes while consuming less power. With an outstanding central processing unit, data processing is accelerated, enabling faster response times and improved performance. The gateways also feature deep penetration capabilities, providing extensive coverage in city environments and wider connectivity in direct line of sight. 
They support simultaneous data reception from up to eight end devices and can connect with a maximum of 2,000 end nodes, facilitating efficient data management, offering multiple backhole connectivity such as Ethernet, cellular, and Wi-Fi. These gateways provide flexible options for encrypted data transmission. Additionally, they are highly compatible with built-in and third-party network servers, streamlining integration into existing infrastructures. Combining all these shared values, MileSite Lure 1 gateways deliver reliable high performance and versatile solutions for various IoT applications. MileSite UG Series Gateway stands out for its exceptional compatibility with various components and systems. The UG56 Indoor Gateway, UG65 Semi Industrial Gateway, and UG67 Outdoor Gateway all feature an embedded network server that supports Semtech's latest packet forwarder, ensuring efficient data communication. Moreover, all models, including the Mini UG63 and SG50, offer seamless integration with third-party LoRaWAN network servers. They are compatible with popular LoRaWAN network server platforms like TTN, ChirpStack, Laureate, Senate, Evernet, and AWS IoT Core for LoRaWAN. This compatibility enables support for common protocols such as MQTT and HTTPS, providing developers direct access to these platform services without the need for extensive development. This greatly accelerates IoT application development. This versatile compatibility empowers MileSite LoRa 1 gateways with a wide range of options for data processing and management, making them suitable for diverse applications and enhancing their overall application capabilities. Building automation systems based on traditional hardwired backnet protocols can be costly, difficult to extend, and inflexible when it comes to adding new functions. However, LoRaWAN technology provides a better way to manage functional spaces by enabling an extension of BACnet capabilities. While LoRaWAN is not a replacement for BACnet, it can enhance the automation and control of various building systems, such as lighting, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and security. Let me take an example. A typical company may want to use many of the specific capabilities of the LoRaWAN technology, like the ability to manage changing patterns of room or desk occupancy, or direct interaction with building users and add this value to an existing BACnet system. And in the wake of the pandemic, organizations are under intense pressure to make their buildings smarter and to manage the impact of building use on health and well-being as well as to be a lot more flexible about working space provision. Well, MileSite UG67, UG65, and UG56 gateways open up pathways to achieve that. Suppose the company would like to install the LoRaWAN-based room or desk occupancy sensors and indoor air quality sensors. Without the need for fixed hardwired infrastructure, the data generated by these sensors can be quickly fed into the legacy BACnet system using MileSite's LoRaWAN gateways that support the BACnet IP protocol. Additionally, if the facility manager wishes to achieve automated control between the LoRaWAN sensors and the existing standard BACnet-based devices such as lighting or HVVAC control valves, they can introduce a BACnet IP router. This router can manage data from a subset of BACnet devices perhaps in a remote part of the building's network, and communicate with the building management system over LoRaWAN. As a result, the occupancy, air quality, and temperature information to be transmitted to the BMS and the existing BACnet actuators and control valves receive control commands from BMS to intelligently turn on or off the lights or air conditioners. They gain the ability to communicate with each other through the central control provided by the BMS. And have you tried the gateway fleet and node red to simplify the setup process? A gateway fleet feature allows multiple agent gateways to receive data and transmit it to one controller gateway. This simplifies the implementation and management of the lower one network. In this fleet application, the UG63 mini gateways act as agent units with packet forwarder. The UG67 on remote as a controller gateway with LoRaWAN network server receiving messages. 
In other words, all LoRa1 sensors on remote at radio frequency distance range of agent gateways will be handled by the controller gateway. Node-RED is a widely used open-source flow-based programming tool that offers a visual interface for connecting and automating hardware devices, APIs, and online services within the IoT ecosystem. However, support for integrating Node-RED with LoRaWAN hardware has been limited in the market. Nevertheless, Myosite's UG65 and UG67 LoRaWAN gateways provide an alternative solution. These gateways offer a browser-based visual programming environment where programming is simplified through drag and drop functionality. The battery-powered or solar-powered LoRaWAN sensors are becoming more prevalent due to challenges with ensuring electricity availability in I.O. deployments. And it's equally important to consider power supply for LoRaWAN gateways, as they are often deployed in areas where accessing electricity is difficult. Therefore, the use of solar-powered LoRaWAN gateways provides a viable solution to address this challenge. Next, let's explore the ultra-low-power solar gateways G50. LoRa gateway market is strong, and we expect a continued growth. The investigation by Coherent Market Insights last year was generally confident that the market will reach a value of more than $6 billion by 2030 at a 31% growth rate during the forecast period. Something I wanted to highlight from this report is that we noticing increased demand by people in standard LoRa Gateway, as well as the witnessing increasing popularity in solar-powered LoRa Gateway. Vendors are capitalizing on this trend by offering commercial solar-powered LoRaWAN gateways. But this trend by the market is largely due to the fact that the solar gateway become much easier to set up. It's more performance while being more affordable. So with that in mind, we developed the SG50 LoRaWAN gateway in 2023. When you're in remote rural locations with no access to electricity, connectivity, can become a real challenge. How do you power your IoT gateways in such conditions? Powering a gateway with a solar panel has big benefits, including no power supply costs. But the necessity of deploying it in harsh weather environments or isolated structures can raise questions about the feasibility of the technique. At MileSite, we've solved this problem with built-in rechargeable batteries and solar panel that accept input voltages from 12 to 24 voltages, specifically designed to power our SG50 gateway. What sets this gateway apart from others on the market is its unique ability to continuously power for four days or so, when there's no sunlight in the worst period in winter, thanks to the high-efficient and advanced power management design. To sum up, SG50 uses a 30-watt standard solar panel with an optional 45 watts upgrade to capture solar energy, simultaneously powering the device and recharging the internal battery in ample sunlight. SG50 facilitates connectivity in remote areas, combining solar power, a built-in battery cellular 4G communication, and advanced remote management. It enables why free deployment and independent operation in challenging environments. The MileSite SG50 Gateway offers unique selling propositions for product managers to consider it for their solutions. For example, to achieve autonomous networking and powering, it features built-in rechargeable lithium batteries and supports cellular backhaul, ensuring uninterrupted connectivity. The Gateway enables fast deployment through Wi-Fi access point functionality and offers low maintenance with convenient remote management through software suits. Moreover, the IP67 corrosion-resistant metal cast enables its durability in harsh environments such as smart agriculture, asset tracking, and environmental monitoring. And what I want to say is LoRaWAN specifically is all about minimizing power consumption. Low energy operation is generally a sought-after feature for end nodes, however. This does not mean that gateways can't be power hogs. Therefore, one of the key differentiating factors that sets the SG50 gateway, apart from other solar gateways, is its ability to achieve ultra-low power consumption through its advanced battery management system and software settings. 
Let's go through them one by one. The first effort comes from the data packet filter. When deploying a LoRaWAN network, considerations about transmitting data from gateways to the internet arise. Initially, in proof-of-concept stages, data volume and backhaul costs may be negligible. However, as the network transitions to real-world projects or production, paying per data volume on the gateway becomes a concern. In remote areas without wired internet or electricity access, LoRaWAN gateways often rely on cellular 4G backhaul, which incurs costs for every byte transmitted. That's why filtering LoRaWAN traffic becomes crucial to reduce backhaul usage and optimize power consumption. Now, MileSight SG50 Ultra Low Power LoRaWAN Gateway answers these common questions and provides you with two options to avoid large cellular data consumption bills by filtering traffic on your LoRaWAN gateways. One option for filtering data packets is self-configuration on the gateways packet forwarding interface. By configuring the NetID join UI, and device UI, blacklists or whitelists can be created to filter out unnecessary or invalid data packets and only forward valid data. Each type of filtering supports a maximum of five lists for configuration. And another option is the configuration on a third party's network server. Currently, we support basic station, a popular and reliable choice for a network server. When filtering conditions are set on the network server platform, the SG50 gateway will adhere to these conditions and perform the necessary filtering accordingly. Another area where power saving occurs in the SG50 gateway is on the Wi-Fi side. Wi-Fi technology typically consumes more power compared to other wireless communication technologies. The SG50 gateway supports Wi-Fi AP mode for configuration within 10 to 15 meters. When Wi-Fi is enabled, two additional functions are available to reduce energy consumption while ensuring proper Wi-Fi connection during on-site configuration. Firstly, when the solar power supply is insufficient and the gateway relies on built-in batteries. If no client is connected within 10 minutes, the turn off during battery discharge setting will automatically shut off Wi-Fi to conserve power and prolong battery life. And the Wi-Fi will be reactivated once the batteries are charged. Secondly, the timing turn off function allows users to set a specific time period for Wi-Fi to automatically turn off and off. If no client has connected within 10 minutes of the scheduled shutdown time, the gateway will analyze the situation and shut off the Wi-Fi accordingly. It will then reactivate the Wi-Fi at the specified time. These features effectively reduce energy waste caused by prolonged Wi-Fi usage on the gateway and ensure seamless Wi-Fi connectivity during on-site configuration. The MileSite team has made every effort to minimize the power consumption of the SG50 gateway. They have implemented various techniques to achieve this, such as the gateway's ability to automatically adjust the battery charging and discharging logic according to the availability of solar power supply. Additionally, the maximum charging current can be adjusted based on the three battery temperature ranges. And if it's higher than 50 degrees Celsius, the battery will not be charged. To tackle the issue of reduced performance in extremely low temperatures, they have incorporated low temperature heating and charging mechanisms into the solar battery systems according to the factors like battery temperature and solar power consumption. In addition to the more than qualified hardware devices, you can also rely on the software suite to simplify the deployment process and get positive user experience. Let's have a little overview of them. MileSite has been providing several platforms for device management and fundamental applications like MileSite, IoT Cloud, and Device Hub, MileSite Sensing Platform and Inference Tool for X-Series, and provides special services such as MileSite VPN and Toolbox. These software offerings are designed to enhance the functionality and usability of MileSite products, providing a comprehensive and integrated experience for users now we are currently working hard on integrating the resources mentioned earlier. And as a result, 
we can expect the release of an upgraded version of Device Hub and the MileSite development platform. Device Hub 2.0, an on-premise platform installed on Ubuntu, will be available in January 2024. It prioritizes support for ESG50 and UG63 mini gateways while also being compatible with other gateways, routers, and PO version people counters in the future. This upgraded version offers two significant integrated features. The first is the integrated LoRaWAN network server service, which allows application management, sensor configuration, data exchange, and decoding. Data can be forwarded to other application servers using MQTT and HTTP protocols. Another important feature is device management, which enables automatic configuration file, retrieval when the device is online, and simplifies remote configuration and updates. To be honest, I'm excited to try out the MileSite development platform. It's a cloud-based platform that will be available in the first quarter of 2024. You can easily apply for an account and log in to access its powerful features. This platform combines all the functions of existing MileSite IOT cloud sensing and inference platform and toolbox. Additionally, it provides a cloud-based device management platform and cloud-based service of network server for our customers. The benefits offered by this development platform are remarkable. You can expect a significantly improved user experience and enhanced data processing capabilities when onboarding devices, managing them, utilizing auto-provisioning, integrating with your own developed applications, or leveraging API support. It's an exciting opportunity to explore and optimize your IoT solutions. The upcoming Device Hub 2.0 and MileSite development platform offer faster development and device management in several ways. For example, as the SG50 and UG63, gateways no longer support the embedded built-in network server. The Device Hub 2.0 and MileSite development platform serve as suitable alternatives. Instead of relying on third-party services, you can choose either an on-premise deployment using Device Hub with LoRaWAN Network Server or a cloud deployment with the MileSite development platform, both providing efficient device management capabilities. In the redirecting and provisioning service on MileSite development platform plays a crucial role in streamlining the initial setup of LoRaWAN gateways. It allows for seamless pre-configuration of all MileSite gateways including standard and solar-powered models, ensuring a convenient plug-and-play experience. When ASG50 powers on and connects to the internet, it receives a pre-configured file from the remote provisioning server, enabling auto-provisioning based on provided settings. The gateway can then connect to either the on-premise deployed device hub or the cloud-served MileSite development platform for further functionality and management. Furthermore, you can manage devices through the HTTP API and retrieve data for further application development using the MileSite development platform. We don't just deliver products, we deliver a total solution. Finally, let's check a few amazing comprehensive solutions. Before we delve into the specific application, let's clarify the distinction between the SG50 and UG67 gateways. Some of you may already have installed the UG67 gateway with your own solar panel. So why consider the SG50? While both of them are outdoor LoRaWAN gateways, they have several common features. For example, they support large-scale remote deployment, help save manpower and resources in maintenance and deployment efforts, and are designed to withstand challenging outdoor environments with an IP67 protection rating. However, there are noticeable differences in their specific application scenarios. When it comes to maintenance, CHG50 can be installed outdoors, far from the control center, and powered by solar energy for minimal upkeep. It supports remote deployment and easy installation. On the other hand, UG67 can also be installed outdoors but requires regular maintenance. From the realm of installation areas, SG50 is ideal for locations with limited power supply, difficult access to electricity, 
and high power sensitivity due to its ultra-low power consumption, long battery life, and autonomous solar power supply design. While UG67 is suitable for areas with convenient power supply, as it can be powered through power over Ethernet, an M12 connector for the usage of Wi-Fi. The SG50 gateway supports Wi-Fi app for configuration purposes only. On the other hand, the UGQ67 gateway is capable of not only Wi-Fi configuration, but also data transmission over a 2.4 GHz network. When it comes to compatibility with the application server, in power-sensitive scenarios where only packet forwarding functionality is needed without application layer development on the gateway itself, the SG50 with its lower power consumption CPU solution is recommended. This is because the built-in network server is not included, resulting in further power savings. And the UG67 is well suited for scenarios that require a gateway solution with built-in network server capability. It caters to customers who prefer direct data transmission to their application platform through the gateway, or some customers who wish to perform secondary development using tools like Node, Red, or Python on the device itself. This eliminates the need for additional third-party LoRaWAN network servers. Overall, depending on the specific requirements of the application and the desired level of power efficiency, both SG50 and UG67 offer suitable options for different use cases. When it comes to managing infrastructures like smart street lighting control, waste management, and metering, a crucial factor to consider is identifying the right I.O. technology suitable for these applications. Let's consider a smart street light controller based on cellular IOT as an example. This controller connects to the internet via a local telecom network. There's no need for a local gateway. But this solution may face some challenges. The first is limited or no access to networking infrastructure. I mean the cellular towers. On the one hand, it might result from deployment location, as there have been no cellular towers available to ensure required connectivity. However, it has been more commonly a matter of budget. The reason is that tower lease fees could be expensive and the data on each controller have a significant impact on the overall return on investment of the solution. The second challenge pertains to power accessibility for the gateway if you'd like to install a LoRaWAN solution. If there is no power available at the intended deployment site for the gateway, the customer faces a choice between two options, either investing time and money to bring power to the site or choosing a less optimal deployment location. Next, to resolve the complexity of the deployment, many operators in the ecosystem, including MileSite customers, seek to overcome these challenges by creating custom solar deployment solutions. They procure their own solar panels and batteries and design an autonomous power solution. While this might be a feasible option, it brings added complexity compared to simply mounting a gateway and connecting it to power. It also demands additional cost and time as well as carries some technical risk that needs to be carefully evaluated, especially for large-scale deployment. So what's the solution? I think the solar-powered SG50 Lore one gateway serves as the solution to address all the aforementioned concerns, offering reliable wireless connectivity anywhere for rural and urban infrastructure management. Firstly, you can easily find LoRaWAN compatible luminaire controllers in the market that allow individual remote management of any streetlight equipped with electronic ballast. Besides basic on and off switching and dimming functions, the controllers are capable of operating autonomously based on adaptive algorithms with integrated light or motion sensors from MileSight. Secondly, LoRaWAN based pulse counters serve as a crucial component for connecting water or gas meters. These pulse counters are designed to accurately measure and count the pulses generated by the meters, providing real-time data on water or gas consumption. Now I'd like to talk a little bit more about the critical role of SG50 Gateway in the solution. First is the power consumption. Power consumption has been minimized as a key aspect in the design of the gateway, with a focus on efficiency. The SG50 typically operates at less than one watt when Wi-Fi is disabled. 
which is significantly lower than other outdoor gateways available in the market. Next is the cutting edge battery technology. As you know, in extremely low temperatures, the performance of solar battery suffers as well. So we incorporate low temperature heating mechanisms into solar battery systems and support a wide operating and charging temperature range to against harsh environments. Thirdly, the remote management and alarm. Our solution is designed with remote management and monitoring in mind. In fact, operators can remotely manage the battery performance and discharge capacity of the gateway. They receive alarms when the remaining power reaches a pre-configured critical level, ensuring timely action can be taken. And setting up a standard gateway usually involves more time and money to secure a suitable site location. Unlike these standard gateways that require access to power mostly in cable infrastructure, the MileSite SG50 eliminates the need for such requirements. This not only saves time, but also allows for the potential elimination of power costs altogether. When it comes to ongoing operation expenses, the data costs associated with the 4G cellular networks are either eliminated or significantly reduced, thanks to the data filtering function on the SG50 gateway. In conclusion, the MileSite SG50 is well suited for remote deployments in infrastructure management for smart cities and ESG initiatives. LoRaWAN has been successfully implemented in various agriculture applications and farmland management. Our customer from China acknowledges that digitizing farming processes and implementing smart irrigation face important challenges, particularly in communication and energy management. The power supply and devices is a significant challenge. The main issue concerns the end node's power supply and how to optimize efficiently the power consumption. Moreover, the gateway serving station may consume more energy while transmitting data through 4G cellular networks and configuring via Wi-Fi. Consequently, the gateway requires efficient energy storage and supply. Milesite has introduced a comprehensive solar-powered irrigation system that incorporates a LoRaWAN gateway, multiple sensors, and solenoid valve controllers placed wirelessly throughout the farmland. To begin with, these battery-powered sensors collect crucial data, including soil moisture temperature, humidity, electric conductivity, light level, and carbon dioxide level. This data is then transmitted wirelessly to a central control system through a solar-powered gateway. What sets this system apart is the inclusion of solar-powered controllers, each equipped with two outputs for connecting up to two DC latching solenoid valves. By collaborating with the soil sensors, customers can easily implement time-based irrigation control, volume-based control, and precision control based on soil moisture levels. The solar-powered UC511 controller, for instance, comes with two chargeable lithium batteries that ensure the device remains online continuously for up to 15 days. This ensures reliable and uninterrupted operation of the irrigation system. And the solar-powered gateway is equipped with 3.6 voltages, 25,000 mAh lithium backup batteries and solar panel, which allows the standby time on Cloudy can reach more than four days. The specific battery voltage and current will be measured and converted into battery capacity, which will then be reported on MileSite development platform. So this solar-powered solution allows the devices to function autonomously and sustainably, even in remote or off-grid locations, reducing dependency on traditional electricity grids. Tracking the movement and location of boats and collecting environmental data in the Amazon River requires a low-cost and scalable solution as it's so challenging to implement a data communication infrastructure with internet access and to find a fixed power source for devices. So the high power consumption devices and wired communication are knocked out of action in the true field work. And our customer from Brazil is keen to explore the use of LoRa radio communications to monitor boats and uses the LoRa GPS tracking technology as a viable means to track a large number of boats without incurring individual data costs per boat. 
the sensitive tracker AT101 is installed in the boat monitor for location detection, which can record the geographical position of the boat very precisely. They also place the solar-powered weather stations several kilometers away from one another, which collect various measured data such as wind speed and direction, temperature, humidity, air pressure, and rainfall data via the Loran wireless network. The customer assembled a complete network of the provided solar panels and long-life rechargeable lithium batteries to run the weather station and gateway. They also successfully transmitted the data to off-site managers using a 4G network from the solar-powered LoRaWAN gateway, SG50 installed in the treetops. MileSite Weather Station is solar-powered and has chargeable battery backup lasting up to seven days. Besides, the SG50 gateway ensures uninterrupted operations at night or during cloudy periods with its built-in lithium battery. It features a reliable internal battery, ensuring typical operation for up to four days without sunlight. Moreover, with the intelligent power supply logic of SG50, I mean solar panel, rechargeable lithium battery, and low temperature heating battery, it guarantees an impressive 99.95% connectivity for any serious project. Thanks again for your attendance. In the end, for getting the latest news about MileSite, just follow us on our social media. See you next time.